Ed. For the Envirothon, you're going to need to determine slope of the landscape. So I've got two different methods to use here today. One is with the clinometer, and the other is with an older instrument known as the Abney level. They both do the same thing, but in slightly different ways. The Abney level is a little bit of an older instrument, and what it is is it has a scale here that you line up with, and it gives you a percent marking. It also has a level bar with a bubble in it. There's a mirror inside the Abney level that bounces the level, the orientation of that bubble into the eye hole so that you can see it and line up. There's a bar across the front that gives you that level marking. And you're gonna look from this hole across the slope stakes. This is one slope stake here, and I'm going to try to line it up with the slope stake at the opposite end of the field, and then I'm gonna turn the dial to get the level lined up. Then I can look at this dial and see where it's pointed and it will give me my percent slope. So I'm gonna get down, place the abney level on the slope, and line up the line I can see on the inside of it with the top of the other slope stake. Then I need to move this and it's gonna turn that leveler with the bubble in it ever so slightly and I need to get the line on the leveler with the bubble lined up with the line I can see through the Abney level. Once I've done that, I can take a look at where the marker is on this level, and it will tell me my percent slope. So I can tell from here it's a 1% slope. The other tool we can use to measure slope is a clinometer, which is a little more modern than the Abney level. And instead of having a mirror with a level bar that's reflected it into the eye vision for you to line up, with the level itself. This one has an, an internal dial. As I rotate the angle of the clinometer, it, it rotates this uh, meter on the inside. So the trick with looking through the clinometer is I have to keep both eyes open because with the abney level, I could see through the tube to the other stake, but for this one, I need to have one eye open to see the meter on the inside of the clinometer and the other eye open to make sure I'm lining it up correctly with the stake on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and get over here and place the clinometer on top of the stake. Now, sometimes if your stakes are really close together, you need to make sure you angle the level meter line on the inside of the clinometer with just above the stake. These are pretty far apart, so I can aim pretty straight for the top of the stake and be good to go. Now, there's two meters inside this clinometer, and one side reads percent, and one side reads degrees, just like a protractor that you might use in geometry class. Now it's important to make sure you're reading the correct scale. This one happens to be a 1% slope. If I'm confused as to which scale is the correct one, I can always turn the clinometer up all the way towards the sky, and at the bottom of the percent slope, there will be a percentage sign. You'll also notice the percent scale goes up in number very rapidly as opposed to the angle scale, which won't get to 100 degrees unless I was turning over backwards. It's really nice to have stakes to shoot your slope off of, but things happen. Sometimes they get knocked around by other wildlife or participants that are out on the site. If it's not the exact same height in both locations, you're going to need to adjust. And there's two ways to check that. One way is stand right up against the stake and mark a point on your body. Walk down to the other side of the, the uh, slope stakes. Make sure the other stake is about the same height. If it's not the same height, you're going to need to slightly adjust which angle you're shooting at to make sure you're shooting at the correct elevation on the opposite stake. Another thing you can do to double check is shoot the slope both directions. I got 1% here, so if the stakes are at the same height, I should get 1% shooting back. It should just be positive in one direction and negative the other. If I got 1% here, but I got 5% when I shot from the other direction, I need to figure out what's going on. Are my stake heights slightly off, or am I, you know, needing to work on my clinometer method a little bit better? Sometimes we don't have stakes laid out for the landscape that we're in to determine slope. In that situation, you need to find a partner on your team and a spot on their body that's the same height as your eye level. That way they can pace off 
in the appropriate direction for the landscape, and you can make sure you're shooting the slope on the right point. So with Keith here, I can tell my eyes are about the same level as his chin, that, that area on his body. So when he goes up a hill, I can make sure that I'm shooting to something that's the same elevation above the ground as my eye level.